Hey Excel Geeks, hope you all are doing well. Uh, in this series, we are going to cover a topic called Waffle Chart. In Excel, Waffle Chart, how it works, okay? If I go in this insert and the chart option, you will not find that option, which is a Waffle one, right? So how we can create that? So let me show you how. This is an interactive one. Let me quickly show you the glance first. This is the 70, if I do the 70, then the numbers will be changed. If I do 80, you know, the range will be changed and likewise, okay? So I'll just do a control Z and we'll start. Uh, waffle chart, you will add in your business line as well, right? Uh, when the process is in red, amber or green, right? That time you can easily adopt this chart. Let me copy this entire thing from here copy and uh, just paste it across okay i'm just right click and then there is an option called format cells okay or maybe you can directly press control one okay three semicolon added here to hide that particular content i'll remove that okay so what it is exactly over here so if you carefully observe, let me zoom in this thing. If you carefully observe over here, 5, 10, 15. Likewise, I have just added the percentages in the spreadsheet. So we'll do the similar manner in the next spreadsheet as well, which is 5, 10, 15 20 and so on right so 5 is not just a 5 it's a 5 percentage and then 10 percentage I'll just add a 10 percent and I'll just select this drag it right hand side okay I'll just adjust these columns likewise we'll do it for 3 0 percentage 30 then 35 this is the ratio of a uh, 5 percentage you can add 1 2 3 percent 4 percent 5 percent okay likewise you know as per your business need yeah this is a bit you know easy steady job for me to make you understand um, how it help you in your daily business need right so that's the reason I've just added a 5 one ratio 5 and then I'll just drag it this over here 50 likewise we'll do it for 55 percentage and then 6 0 percentage and then I'll just again drag it to the right hand side likewise for 8 0 percentage 85 I am doing this uh, manual steps the reason behind is the viewers which we have right that might be a uh, noise in the Excel right so that's the reason I'm doing my level best to make everybody comfortable about this particular scenario so that's the reason I'm doing this manual stuff so let me clear this conditional formatting first because of the conditional formatting it was showing me that color now again we have red amber green so this is the red likewise we will have our amber amber one and then green one which we will do you know once we have it one particular skeleton is ready post that you know we'll easily copy and paste it that that's that's not an issue yeah so this is done so far and uh, what we can do we just select this and uh, make it size 7 okay so it's easy, easy to adjust and then I'll just little zoom over here now this is the selection when we do a selection just ensure that we are adding it to selection over there okay update the selection conditional formatting there is an option called new rule just select that okay 
and format only cell that contains okay when we press this option we need a value over here somewhere right to get that reference we need to ensure that we are you know uh, having a reference value created meaning so let me you know merge okay i'll just merge it first and then i'll add a random value which is uh, suppose it's a 50 percentage right and then i'll just make it central bold and then i'll zoom it yeah this is the color of red you can add color red or maybe whatever you want to add but uh, time being i'm just keeping as a no fill just select it conditional formatting new rule and then format cell that contains here just carefully observe in cell value click less than or equal to okay what i have did i'll just explain you once again select this entire range conditional formatting new rule and then second option which is format only sales that contain and then you will keep a cell value as is here less than or equal to and then what i was explaining you what I was explaining you earlier, the similar thing, we'll click here and then we'll select this value, which is this, and then format. Now, there are two things we need to ensure that we are making a changes in it. First, border, just remove those borders. Okay, we have removed it and then as soon as you done okay you just need to add a color now here for me it's red and then okay and okay okay so if I change it until 90 this will select it entire thing cool likewise uh, if you see in the previous section right what we have did we have added a two colors so we need to do it second color as well so similar fashion just select this conditional formatting new rule format only sales that contains now this time you will select greater than and the range or maybe the selection criteria again the same and uh, this time you will keep a formatting or maybe color very light so if you see this you know i missed one step which is a border one so ensure that you are adding that removing the border step here as well okay both the time we need to remove that border step and just okay when I do a 70 this will complete until 70 and the remaining will be the other another color now what we need to do we need to follow along for the same steps for amber okay likewise for green too so what I will do I'll just adjust this again and here amber that's completely fine i'll select this again i'll select this first okay on the top i'll adjust this column adjust these columns too and then i'll select this entire range and then conditional formatting new rule here cell that contains less than equal to ensure you are selecting this range and then here again remove the borders the color would be amber one so I'll select this or maybe this okay and okay again the same new rule okay 
greater than this and you will change the color likewise okay I'll teach you another step over here in the green you can apply same in the amber too to save your time as we have copied this entire range from the read so that's the reason we have rule implemented already okay so conditional formatting just click on the manage rule you will get the rule added over here right click on edit rule and the range would be this color code plain and border is already removed so this step is saved for you okay again edit rule this is the selection just remove this this is the selection and then fill fill would be this green or maybe I'll keep this as a green usually in the business context you know we keep this green so that's the reason okay so we are good so far and uh, let me merge this keep it a bit bold and then just let me remove this content every thing from here and then I just add a border over here some sort of border to make the visually appealing right when we are showcasing this to the client or maybe our leadership that time we need to ensure that we are keeping this storyboard good I'll just merge this merge it okay add it bold centrally align 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 this two and this one as well cool so let me adjust this it's adjusted it's, it got adjusted and now this is the final one which is adjusted now 70 70 will not really help because ultimately our 100 percentage co coverage we need to showcase right all the time so I'll keep it this as a 30 percentage and remaining would be um, 10 which is my one and then if I see it's one one zero right so I think I need to keep this as a 60 so 100% calculation would be great cool so this is the uh, thing which we can do and now last step just select over here control 1 press control 1 or maybe directly format option you can directly click it right click and then format sales here custom just type 3 semicolon 1 2 3 the data whatever we have added right that will get hidden okay however the data is available in the sheet okay when I click here you can see right this displaying in the formula bar and uh, what we will do will just select this entire thingy and then just we add a color soft color which is this will hide this grid lines we don't need that grid lines so that's the reason formula bar we needed so we kept it as is and then we'll add a merge and then this is the again visual part okay how you want to keep it you can just directly keep it rack sheet is basically your red amber green sheet right folks so that's the reason I've just kept it a short bold again and uh, this so yeah this is how you will add this and I'll just add the borders over here cool so this is how you will create your waffle chart in Excel very interactively you can uh, make a changes in it if I make a changes you know this will uh, be increased you can add a formula driven approach as well internally in between with this this will help you to know uh, 
avoid manual stuff to do and do a manual calculation in between this is how i have created uh, i am pretty sure you are my student so we'll create very beautifully this particular chart thanks for watching have a great day ahead if in case you found any difficulties okay feel free to drop a comment in the uh, youtube i'm happy to help you out once again thanks for watching have a great day ahead